You see the white tower? Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna tower. hit the tower. All right. See if I can. That's the goal. You gonna hurt yourself. On uh, the water tower. Don't don't hurt yourself. All right. See it? And then that's gonna hit and travel and roll and keep going and going and going. All right, so let's get into it a little bit. You gotta understand, typically I got the music blasting. We on our way to Rock Manor Golf Club, uh, one of the public facilities in the city. This is gonna be the first time for a lot of these guys and girls. And we want to make sure that kind of that first time is one that's uh, a fun experience, but also super informative. The city's made a nice investment into this club, uh, our golf course, and uh, I think it's going to be a great time. Golf is a gateway into all of these different individuals, from actors to, you know, professional businessmen to, you know, just everyday people. O and I have played in college, professional events. He just competed in a professional event on the highest level but our mothers have never played one golf hole. How can we get other people from outside of golf into golf? So we understand that dynamic of like being at the top and also having no idea. So I'm, we're gonna treat y'all like our mothers and we're here to learn from y'all. You know what I mean? The game is constantly evolving. I don't think you can truly grow golf by selling it back to golf. I'm done talking. I'm ready to get, get to yeah, it. So we're going to do it. All right, let's so let's let's make our way right over here to the putting green. We got some clubs over here. So how do we just bring it all together? First things first is we want to, it's called your stance. You want your feet about shoulder width apart, right? So your feet shoulder width apart, mm -hmm. right? And then you don't have a ball, but you want that club resting kind of right in between your feet. I mean, we don't force golf on anyone. We don't force east side golf on anyone. But if you're here and you want to learn, then we're going to go above and beyond and give you every tool, every resource possible. See, my body's nice and still and my shoulder's moving tick tock, tick tock. When it comes to golf, I mean, it's about representation. If you don't see somebody that looks like you. So if you're thinking about this tempo in your head, tick tock, that's how it's supposed to be or if you don't see a logo. But you can just really just put it to me. How could they ever know that it's possible? Oh, hey, my boy. There you go. Let's go. So that's why when they see this logo, they find confidence. Right, so we're on what you would call the driving range. Again, this is public, open to each and every one of you. The cost of coming to the driving range is not a fee to enter the driving range. It's a fee that you're just paying for the golf balls. We're teaching them how to speak the language. You know, so when they get there, it's a different language, right? How do you know if you get the ball in the, the hole. in the hole from here? So, well, here's just targets. It's not about getting it in the hole. And I think that's the beauty in it. Like, we're touching everyday people that have no idea of golf, but slowly but surely, like, just bringing them around it, they'll naturally learn certain things. That's what you want to see a good, balanced finish. That needs to be more of the mindset of like, yo, let them know this journey is a long one, but it's definitely worth it. The reason why we gave money to Morehouse was because we understand personally, that's like an incubator. People are like, oh, why don't we have more people like you? Well, because are you going back to support more people where I came from? Stay just like this, and then when you finish... How do we get the younger generation just more even interested in talking about it? And just brush the ground. When they see this logo on a Jordan, on a t-shirt, then it just, the, the conversation of golf starts. That was good. Okay. Oh, here we go. Looking to have these guys that we put the money into to help us. You know, we start focusing on young professionals. Thank you, appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it, yes. These are the people that are gonna help us get to the younger individuals and grow the game naturally. You already know, I already know. And let's just do something fundamentally different. Let's talk different, let's walk different, let's wear different clothing. Let's figure out a way to usher people in comfortably, welcome them in, they wanna play. 
I mean, that's been my main goal to just spread this game as far as we can so honestly us as black people can take advantage of it. It definitely takes a lot of patience, but it, it was a lot of fun. Like I would definitely come out and do this again for sure. You know, we work really hard. It's a constant grind. It is a tool that you can use every day in your life and when the opportunity presents itself, you, you'll, be, you'll be equipped and ready. And so when you get those moments to kind of engage with people. Young professionals like our audience that we target, emerge and retain young talent in Delaware. This is a perfect turnkey for, for golf. You know, they give you those words of encouragement or you see that your hard work is paying off. You know, a lot of us are not exposed to it. A lot of us don't even like connect in the state. So that's what we try to do. You know, that goes a long way. Exposure and representation are huge things. And I think yeah. having y'all out here as black men showing us the ropes are huge, but then being women out here yeah. is huge as well. Cause we don't yeah. hear a lot about women golfers or how to mm -hmm. get into it and things like that. So I think that in itself was priceless. So why not everybody be involved in golf? That's the goal. That's what we're trying to hit, and people see that, and it's working. Hopefully we can do another, we're playing something even bigger and better for next year. Yes. Get, you know what I mean? Y'all work on y'all game. Ready. That's all I was going to say, work on y'all game. Next year, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to come in. I'm